right, friends, uh, welcome to the channel. Today is Friday and it's really interesting because we're going to talk about a Bachelor of Constantine. This is one of the first watches I ever done in, a, in this type of reviews, uh, especially this brand. This is one of the first ones I ever done. So please tell me if you like it, if you would like to see more like this and what do you think about this particular piece. This is a Bachelor of Constantine uh, overseas in pink gold blue dial this is a really cool very amazing piece and this is one of the uh, brands that you if you're really a real collector and you really want to start a collection for different brands uh, this is one of the best watches you can have to me personally bachelor constantine ap patek philippe uh, rolex are one of the best brands in the world so these are really hard to find pieces you have to be a real collector you need to have a strong account with your, with your dealers you need to be on top of everything else so this is one of the watches you will not find on the showcase and if you find it um, i don't know if they will be able to sell it to you because you know these type of brands they play this type of game where you can you have to buy more pieces in order to get this blah 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 and all that type of stuff but anyway the point of the video is not to talk exactly how to get these watches but the top, the point of the video is to take a look at the watch so please tell me what you think if you'll enjoy these watches or not anyways uh, let's take a look at the watch then it's time to get it out of the box and you guys already know i can help you with more brands i don't have a uh, budget on and stock but i can help you with uh, cartier hublot bulgari gucci montblanc uh, tahoyer diamonds and many more products so you can always contact me on the links below tell me what you're looking for and hopefully i will be able to help you find uh, what you're looking for. Of course, one of my uh, things that I always like is help you build your collection. Like I say, I like the collection for the looks. I don't like the collection because, uh, of course, if I get an offer, a really good piece, I mean, if you know how it works, I wouldn't say no, right? But this is the watch. Very interesting, very heavy though. This is 18 karat gold, so I think it's amazing. Uh, the band, it's very different. I like how it kind of, you know connects you know like the middle part of van i think it's really cool it's very different and this is one of the best the things you will find only in this particular brand and especially the blue dial the blue dial is one of the hardest dials to get in this watch so this is for one of my friends i want to say really thank you very much for lending me this watch and giving me the opportunity to record it first of all thank you very much like i say very cool watch congratulations and uh, let's see what happens uh, at the end of the day this is a, a watch i'm actually here on the web page from uh, bachelor and constantine this is one of the things that i like to do when i'm doing a review um, i don't go too much into detail honestly i, I just go for the looks basic basic mechanism ba basic stuff uh, i'm a collector but i'm not a uh, super fan of mechanisms and have to do all that at the end of the day i understand uh, you know the mechanisms automatic manual tourbillon and all that i understand it but i i don't really go for that type of thing but one of the things that i like about this particular watch um it's 18 karat gold it's 18 karat it's just yes, 18 karat gold in pink gold this is 41 millimeters i think this is the one the, one of the best parts that i like it's it's a great great size it's 41 millimeters it's, the size that everything is using at this point and water resistant is 50 15 bar water resistant then a bar is basically 10 meters so at this point 15 should be around 150 water uh, meters uh, water resistant so I think it's cool I wouldn't I wouldn't take a dive with a watch anyways but it's a cool feature about it you have a date on the number three and of course um, this is a self winding uh, the reference is 5100 according to this in the mechanism but the actual the actual reference is actually very long so the reference is 4500 B like this slash 110R slash B705 super 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 complicated I don't go into that either I just put it on the description if you're looking for a watch you can just find it on the YouTube and you can take a look at the video but um, please tell me what you think about these particular watches 
tell me if you like it or you don't like it, if you will wear it or not. And uh, one of the things that I will be more interesting to know uh, about your thoughts is how the market is going, you know, because these particular brands are not very common, especially here in the Valley of Texas. A lot of people don't really know about these brands, but these are really interesting, very cool, very nice brands. And of course, they're really high end. To me, personally, I think these watches are very discreet in a term. Of course, if you're wearing a gold watch, it's not discreet at all. But if the screen point that you can be, if you wear a Rolex uh, anywhere, anywhere, it's it's a lot of attention in a way because this is what the brand is bringing, you know, to the market. And every day, at the end of the day, Bachelet and Constantine and these type of brands are more like for collectors. So you have to really know about watches in order to understand, you know, uh, the type of customer, the, the type of customer that guy uh, is if they're wearing these type of watches. And so this is not a watch that uh, any regular folk that is not into the watch uh, collection, it is not into the watch world and all this thing they were in. Uh, they don't really gonna recognize what type of brand it is and sometimes if they go under value but this particular piece especially with blue dial uh, retail price is around fifty thousand dollars forty nine thousand one hundred so it's very expensive and you know in a way but at the end of the day uh you're getting gold you're getting a very cool brand you're getting uh, something that not a lot of people have at the moment so i will always try to uh, you know i will recommend uh, something like this if you get the opportunity to get it of course the point of this the watch is really hard on the market that you can find it for up to 65 70 thousand dollars around that so it's crazy you know this is one of the you know we used to see years years back when you you, you will buy a, a gold piece on you know on retail and just Whenever you want to sell it or stuff like that, you ended up uh, losing part of your investment, not investment, but part of the part of the things that you pay for the watch. But at this point, even gold watches are going over retail price. So this is a market that I have never seen before. This is super crazy. I don't know what is going to happen in the next years, but as everything looks right now, I'm pretty sure it's going to continue the same way. So don't expect to see Rolex on the showcase. Don't expect to see especially sport watches and many other things you know i know more brands are having the same struggle so this is pretty much guys i, re I don't really have a lot to say about the description of the watch that that it is but thank you very much and see you next time